Hey there, it's Andy with Reverb, and today I want to explore some 80s guitar with you. This actually came to AskAndy at Reverb.com, and the question was, how do I sound like Def Leppard's Hysteria album? I had read recently that there was a piece of gear on that album that was made famous by another band, Boston, and of course I'm talking about the Tom Scholz Rockman. This was the first headphone amp that offered compression, stereo chorus, distortion, and a little bit of reverb. And best of all, the whole thing was totally analog. So I quickly snatched one up on reverb and I'll show you some of the sounds just direct in since it has its own amp simulator. But I also want to show you how to get the sounds using pedals. And it's that classic 80s trifecta of compressor, chorus, and distortion. So I've got the Rockman plugged straight into the interface and I have it set for a clean chorus tone. I really think this is just the epitome of 80s guitar tone. <laughs> Well, that's a taste of the legendary Rockman, which is a great studio tool, obviously. But let's try some pedals to mimic that same sound. Today we're using the Shelly Compi Compressor, which is a high headroom and low noise compressor with tons of different options like tone, input gain, and a clean blend. <laughs> Take out some of the clean blend. For chorus tone, I've grabbed the Serif Deluxe from Frommel. You may have heard recently that this is a recreation of the Dimension D from Roland. The switches give you different presets of rate and depth, as well as the spatial spread when used in stereo. So as you could hear, just with a little comp and chorus, you could pretty much nail any 80s chorus tone. And to kind of mimic that same distortion we were hearing out of the Rockman, I've grabbed the Sir Mini Riot. There's a lot of gain inside this circuit, and you could change the compression of itself by using some different voicing or clipping options. Thank you. 
Getting back to Def Leppard, you'll definitely hear that clean chorus tone under a lot of the dirty guitars, so it's a lot about layering. And this is such a produced album that I bet you they had Rockman and some amps going in parallel to get a fuller sound. Well, there's some 80s guitar tones courtesy of the Rockman and a few pedals, chorus, compression, and distortion. Be sure to ask some more questions in the comments below or send me an email at askandy at reverb.com. Thanks for watching.